Our lives are not our own. From womb to tomb, we are bound to others, past and present. And by each crime and every kindness, they birth our future. The movie that we're going after is a unique, one-of-the-kind, deep throw, far out into the cosmos. That was going to have to be a bullseye. I thought it was a brilliant script. Absolutely fresh, inventive, and incredibly ambitious. They were wanting to push, you know, cinematic boundaries, and they were very clear about that. It's exciting in every way, and it's a film that hasn't been made before. It's not just another film. The originality of it, the idea of one person playing six different characters, you know, it's just, it's a spectacle. When I conceived Cloud Atlas, the biggest thing in my mind was, can I make the structure work? This, this, this Russian doll of nestling, interrupted narratives. You have to abandon the idea that it's six stories. It's one story. So you, the idea of 30 minutes a segment goes out the window because each of the stories is reflecting on one another as you go through the entire movie. On one page, you'd go from 1851 to 1974 to, you know, dystopian future. I thought it would be like a menu with very different courses from different cuisines. Each story is told with a nod towards its traditional genre. As each story evolves, you start to see how they all link, and that's incredibly exciting, you know. Each story propels the next story, and then you're back again, and it propels the next one. And the energy from one story is sort of feeding the next story, so they slowly start to feel like one thing. All of our roles are like the pearl necklace for each one of us. Every one of them is connected somehow. The nature of our immortal lives me? Is it? The subtleties um, do track all the way from beginning to end. They seem like they're telling different stories, but ultimately they come together. If you say that there is a meta storyline that kind of binds them on a separate level, all the stories that we have, obviously the idea was they should be connected through something like a character. When you started looking at the way the story is connected, you immediately were drawn to this concept where what if the villain of one story is actually the hero of another story played by the same actor? This is like doing three seasons of repertory theater, you know, six parts a piece, you know, all in one movie. I mean, every time I would pass Keith David in the hallway, he'd be dressed like a guy from a different century. And then when you see them played by the same actors, it was like, wow. And sometimes having conversations with people and then realizing, like, two minutes in, oh, my God, Hugh Grant, I had no idea that was you. Yeah, we all just say to each other in the makeup trailer in the morning, who are you? What are you playing? That part was thrilling as an actor and a, and a huge challenge. By having actors play multiple parts, suddenly you actually get to see the subtle little things an actor can do to change the meaning of a performance so profoundly. I can't explain it. But I knew when I opened that door... Each one of those characters, the soul evolved in order to have the strength to be the character that I ended up being. The sense of, of, of having the courage to stand up and be who you are, sort of in a funny way, underpins the book and the film. And those decisions are the ringing of a bell that goes back and forth through time. Before we even took the parts, though, we first had to decide if that structure was going to be workable. We just started finding those connective moments in the cards, and it was amazing how all of them matched up. We had, I think, a big field of what we all love. Then slowly, it had kind of a natural progression towards slimming down the amount of information that one movie can carry. It's this extraordinary experience where what looks like it can't be done is, is somehow being done. All of them, all three, Tom, Annie, and Lana, are just always working and always trying to find new ideas. Really brilliant in, in every way. It was amazing to me having two different sets. They, they both have different directing styles, but it works. 
the style of our directors are going to be the physical thing that, that unifies what the entire story is. It's going to have a creative fingerprint that is bodacious. You know, in the old-fashioned sense, you'll sit there and you will be taken on a gigantic uh, roller coaster ride. It's going to be an event, a cinema event. The breadth, the scope, the vast amount of time and space that the movie covers. Spine-tinglingly epic and moving. You'll want to watch this movie more than once. So beautiful, and there's so much to see. I don't think you could ever be bored for a second. It's been a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I will never be a part of another film like this in my life. Some buildings are just doors and windows, and other buildings are great architecture. This movie is going to have a scope that's bigger than anything I've ever seen. It's going to have magnificent stellar architecture.